What's up, mi gente? It's your boy Freddy coming to you from the city of Dallas, Texas. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my top recommendations of what to do when visiting this amazing city. Now, if you like my content and you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Well, without further ado, check it out. My first recommendation is to visit the Dallas World Aquarium. Located in the West End Historic District of Dallas, this aquarium houses a wide variety of species of animals. The upper level of the aquarium replicates a rainforest where you will see a large variety of exotic birds. As you make your way through the aquarium, you will witness stingrays, sloths, delicate swans, exotic penguins, and even majestic sharks, and much, much more. When you're in town, the Dallas World Aquarium is a top destination to visit. Next up is Pioneer Plaza. This large public park is located in downtown Dallas. The park tributes the first pioneers that founded the city of Dallas. The sculptures depict cowboys hurtling longhorns through the plaza. This is a great place to take a photo. Dallas will forever be intertwined with the assassination of former President John F. Kennedy. The Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza is a museum dedicated to teaching the younger generation what happened that horrific day. For $18 admission, the museum examines the life, times, death, and legacy of John F. Kennedy. The museum also features a live video view where Lee Harvey Oswald took that fatal horrific shot. The X from the street outside shows where the exact place Kennedy was fatally shot. For a great view of the city of Dallas, Reunion Tower is my next recommendation. For an admission cost of $18, you will take the elevator up to the Geodeck Observatory where you will see a 360 degree view of the city of Dallas. This is a great place to take in the fresh air while admiring the city of Dallas. For a taste of the local shops and cuisines, the Dallas Farmer's Market would be my next recommendation. A large public market located in downtown Dallas, this market features many different stands and vendors where you can grab lunch and taste the local cuisines. Directly outside, The Shed offers an open air experience and local produce vendors, wholesale dealers, and local farmers are located. An amazing place to visit. My next recommendation is the newly built AT&T Discovery District. Officially opened in June 2021, this district features a state-of-the-art media wall where people can be entertained unlike anything they've seen in Dallas. It also includes a food hall and beer garden so people can enjoy a one-of-a-kind destination. Dallas is known for having unique sculptures. The giant eyeball is no exception. This 30-foot tall fiberglass sculpture of the human eyeball is a cool thing to see when you're in Dallas. For great barbecue, Peak and Lodge would be my top recommendation. Located in Deep Ellum, this award-winning barbecue restaurant offers meat lovers a variety of smoked meats and sides. I decided to order three meat plate that included brisket, sausage, and ribs. I also ordered a side of mac and cheese. This was absolutely delicious. For a great bar scene, my next recommendation is Deep Ellum, a short 10-minute Uber ride from downtown. This lively entertainment district is known for its vibrant street murals, brew pubs, cocktail bars, and Tex-Mex eateries. A great place if you're looking to catch a drink and have some fun. The Clyde Warren Park is a 5.2-acre public park located in downtown Dallas. The park is very unique. In fact, the park was built over a freeway which makes it one of a kind. The park gets very busy during the weekend where people enjoy the day with their families. Food trucks line the park selling a variety of food. This park is an amazing experience. A short 30 minute Uber ride to Arlington, Texas, take a tour through AT&T Stadium. Home to the Dallas Cowboys since it opened in 2009, the state-of-the-art stadium holds up to 80,000 people. The tour gives you access to the actual field where you can imagine how it feels to be walking onto the field on game day. The tour gives you access to the Cowboy locker room as well, and even the Dallas cheerleaders. I would recommend to catch a game during regular season if you can. I'm a die-hard New York Giant fan. 
but I can appreciate the passion the Dallas fans have for their team. Directly across the street from the AT&T Stadium, the newly built Globe Life Field Stadium would be my next recommendation. Home to the Texas Rangers since 2020, the ballpark is a great way to catch a game and support the local team. Grab a hot dog and beer and enjoy the game. American Airlines Center is a multi-purpose arena located in downtown Dallas. The arena is home to the Dallas Mavericks and the Dallas Stars. Even though I did not have an opportunity to enjoy a game during my visit, the surrounding area has different bars and restaurants to enjoy during your visit. My last two recommendations are located in Fort Worth, Texas. The Fort Worth Zoo was founded in 1909. In my opinion, the Fort Worth Zoo is better than the Dallas Zoo, which is why I'm recommending this zoo. For an $18 admission fee, the zoo is home to over 7,000 native and exotic animals. Some of these animals include elephants, jaguars, pumas, and even little penguins. A must-see when you're in Dallas-Fort Worth area. My last recommendation is the Fort Worth Stockyards. This historic district is home to the world's only twice-daily cattle drive. At 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily, you can witness these cattle walk through the streets while real cowboys navigate them through the stockyards. A true spectacle. The stockyards is also full of bars and restaurants and shops, so you can enjoy your time after. On the weekends, you can watch real live rodeos that take place in the arena. A must, must see. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video and its content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and show me some love by clicking the like button. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If I missed anything or you have any questions, please add your comments below. See you next time.